ENG question of the day. Which of these currents is produced by capacitance and involves the trailing dipole? Please pause the video now and choose the correct answer. To answer this question correctly, we need to go back to basics. In this frame, I have represented an advancing quadrupole in a muscle fiber. The parenthesis just added encloses the area of the membrane we will focus on to explain the major changes present coinciding with the different elements of the quadrupole. The different elements of the quadrupole are the capacitance current of the leading dipole, the ionic current of the leading dipole, the ionic current of the trailing dipole, and the capacitance current of the trailing dipole. The drawing introduced shows the components of the membrane needed to summarily explain the changes associated with the different elements of the advancing quadrupole. The cellular membrane, voltage-gated sodium channel, voltage sensor, the white color indicates that it is not activated, the color will change to purple when activated, the cork indicates that the channel is closed, this is the intracellular space, this is the extracellular space, the red dots are sodium ions. As you can see, at this instance, the quadrupole has not reached the selected area of the membrane. We refer to this situation as the membrane being at rest. The resting membrane potential of a normal muscle fiber is negative 85 millivolts. The first element to reach the selected segment of the membrane is the capacitance current of the leading dipole. The capacitance current is brought about by the sodium ions that have accumulated abutting the intracellular side of the selected membrane. The sodium ions now in the inner surface of the selected membrane have come into the cell as the result of the ionic current of the leading dipole and moved towards the selected segment of the membrane by electrotonic current. The white arrows at the fiber and in the drawing indicates the direction of the movement. As the result of the intracellular sodium ion accumulation about in the membrane, the sodium ions in the extracellular space close to the membrane are repelled, thus creating the capacitance current of the leading dipole. Now let's see what goes on at the same segment of the membrane during the second element of the quadrupole. That is, while the segment of the quadrupole is undergoing ionic current of the leading dipole. During this event, the sodium channels have become activated, their passages open, and sodium ions are coming into the cell. The passage of sodium ions through the channels create the ionic current. Now comes the third element of the quadrupole, the ionic current of the trailing dipole. During it, sodium channels are in the same state as before and sodium ions are transiting through the channels. Come the fourth element of the quadrupole during capacitance currents of the trailing dipole, the voltage-gated sodium channels are closed, the sodium ions that have come as a result of the ionic current of the trailing dipole accumulate in the intracellular space abutting the membrane. Once again, the accumulation of sodium ions abutting the inner membrane repels the sodium ions abutting the extracellular surface of the membrane, thus creating a capacitance current. As the selected segment of the membrane ceases to be involved in the quadrupole, the initial arrangement is re-established. Intra and extracellular sodium ions settle and the resting membrane potential of negative 85 millivolts is re-established. Now, that you know the basics. Would you like to try the question again? Here you have the question. And the answer to this question is D. Thank you very much for your attention.